The Utah State Capitol is undergoing a seismic upgrade and restoration project. A project like this would have had to have been done with paint strippers, solvents, uh, you know, using uh, an abrasive blasting method which, you know, would have uh, damaged the underlying surface. We're using dry ice blasting to remove lead-based paint from all the stair components. What it does is it brings out all the original detail that had been lost with all the multiple layers of coats that, of paint that have been applied over the years. They were excited about the fact that, that we wouldn't be creating a big mess with paint strippers. Uh, they were excited about the fact that, you know, uh, we didn't leave any secondary waste at all. We blast right up adjacent to the rock without damaging the rock. And if you start using chemical solvents and paint strippers and things like that, there's, there's a, a likelihood that that could leach into the rock and stain the rock. And that, that would not be good. From an environmental point of view, uh, the cold jet dry ice blasting process is, is uh, it's pretty sweet. First of all, you're using dry ice that is recycled or recaptured from a, some other industrial process. For, we're using a recycled product that disappears as you're using it and uh, doesn't leave any secondary waste. And when we're done with this project, we'll have a barrel of lead-based paint chips and that's all we have to dispose of for a project this size. That's pretty impressive. We can do things that nobody else can do. You know, if, if you have projects where you can't tolerate sand or solvent or water, there aren't a lot of other options. So this lets us go into food processing plants, you know, lets us go into you know, turbine uh, and power generation equipment, printing presses, and then restoration. You know, we can go into homes and create uh, you know, enclosures like you see here and do our dry ice blasting on fireplaces or stairs or what, whatever the case may be and, and we don't create any huge messes. When I started my business I, I looked uh, for the machine that had the, the most benefits and was the most flexible and could solve the most, the most problems and cold jets equipment is the one that fits the bill.